Round one continues with a refreshing surge. The Denver Nuggets have simply been on a rampage, storming through the finals. And with a commanding 3-0 lead, they now have a chance to do what very few teams have even dreamed of. Can they sweep their way to the Larry O'Brien Trophy in a game four against the Oklahoma City Thunder? Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. Does that get anyone else like crazy hyped? Am I the only one where that like black and white intro doesn't just, that just has me absolutely freaking out. Welcome back to another video guys. I'm going to drop an NBA Live 18 mode code down below right now just because I love you. So make sure to check the comments right now. Drop a like. 2,000 likes. I'll do it again for the next few. I just want to say God bless you guys. Uh, we're getting really close to 272,000 subscribers. So if we can do me a big favor and hit it tonight, I'll continue with three videos every day for the whole week. We are going for the sweep. And I just, a realization hit me, okay? Sometimes in life, you just get hit with a realization. My shoes are kind of ugly. Like, let's just... And it's putting me in a position where I have one of two options. I can continue with Jordan and continue with these shoes and continue to dunk on people. Or I can purposely, like, the only way I really know how to get out of a shoe contract is if you purposely make them mad. So I could start wearing Nikes. I could start wearing Adidas. See if Jordan drops me. I'd still have these shoes because... I don't think I'll ever lose them. I wouldn't be allowed to wear them anymore, which really wouldn't be the worst thing. Cause I want different deals. Like I don't, I don't just want to be like a Jordan athlete. I have like big plans for a lot of different companies. And let's just talk about the Nuggets. The Nuggets are the greatest show on turf. Let's just say that, okay? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lead with that. But I am considering. Like I like Jordan. I really, really do. But I'm considering trying to ruffle some feathers and start wearing some different products around just to see what would happen. Like, I know when you're first in negotiations and they don't like it, they'll like cut you. But like, for me, they're paying me a stupid amount of VC. Uh, they have all this stuff invested in me. It might be like a lot more serious if I decide to wear something else around like the park stuff like that. Like if I wore like an Under Armour shoe. Oh, get that out of there, buddy. A Breeze, it's just the beginning of your day, my friend. I wish I could say it's going to get better. It's only going to get worse for you. This is the biggest game of the series so far inside to Millsap. Beautiful. Another assist. I am just a walking, breathing assist machine. And how am I already on fire? I have no idea, but I am. Felton, I would... My hands, my friend, were directly in your face. Yo, am I this open? Am I this open? Beautiful release. And how... Uh, okay. Okay, it's cool. Like, I'm not mad. I'm heated. But I'm not even that mad. Like, I'm a little bit mad. Let me just be real. But I guess I just got to come to terms with the fact we're not going to make every open three. Which makes sense because we only have like a 70 overall uh, three-point rating. But I'd love to be able to make threes whenever I want here. I'm just looking for somebody open. Nobody got open whatsoever there. I'm going to Nikola. He goes back to me. He sets an unintentional screen for me. And th this is bad basketball. We're going to lose this game. Okay. Who who let that who let the dog out? Let me just ask a question. Who let the dog out? And we have to talk about something because I said we would in this video. It's time to start considering. And this is what the comment section better be littered with. In the off season, should I ask for a trade? Should I go to free agency? Or do I just die a Denver Nugget? What do you guys think? Like, do you guys like the Nuggets aspect of it? Do you like the idea of staying with the same team? I personally kind of like the idea of sticking with the same squad, kind of watching us grow as a team like Jokic and Millsap. I would actually really, really miss playing with because like Millsap is a stud, Jokic is a stud. They're all so good that like leaving them would not be easy. But like in another sense, I want to make sure it's entertaining for you guys. I can really go play with whoever you want. So we'll, we'll talk about that in the future. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But all I can say is potential free agency slash trade rumors definitely starting to begin in my head. I, I'm trying to think of what the best situation would be like for me. I'm getting locked up a little bit. I only played like a tiny bit of the first quarter. Like they pulled me really early and they didn't bring me back until the middle of the second. So I kind of feel like with the way I played, like I shot 50%, I had a B team maker. I kind of feel like I got benched a little bit. Like it doesn't really make sense that in this crucial of a game that I wouldn't be playing the whole time. Like I feel like I've been our best player for most of the, like you could argue Nikola has been our best player because he has been really, really solid. But oh my gosh. I'm gonna adjust my, what the heck just happened? 
That's a poster. That is a poster. That was like the biggest, that is going up in my room. That I should literally start selling t-shirts with this on it. Oh my gosh. I had the nerve to not only dunk on him, but to go for the windmill right by his face. Wow. All I can say, that's probably the coolest dunk I've ever had. That should get up. That's posterizer. That's everything. That's highlight dunk. That should get me a lot of attributes. And Paul George, you should like, you're not going to be, oof. Good luck finding a deal after this season, man. Well, I don't know how many years you're ranked here with the OKC Thunder, actually. Not 100% sure. So I don't want to say it if I don't really know it, but Paul George, my friend, you just got owned on backpack possession. I rarely go for steals because I hate getting reach-in fouls, but it's nice to know that when I go for them at the random time, that it might just work. Ankle breaker, ankle breaker. I see you, Sham. Hit the three. Wells doesn't need that much space. That's the nice thing about him. Like, Nelson seems to need a lot more space. But, like, Wells, like, even in, like, pretty tight spaces like that, he's able to hit shot. Got him. Holy. This game, so far, has been so dominant. Like, I turned the difficulty up a little bit, too, and we are still just so dominant in this series. It's, like, I don't think we're going to have this much success in the next one. Like, if I'm being real, I really don't. I could see us struggling even a little bit in the next series just because... The Thunder were so hard. They're so diminished. They're missing so many key weapons that it's hard to believe that they were even in this position to be the number one seed. But, like, we are just putting on an absolute show. Sham. Oh, I wish. If he hits that, I'll love him. Oh, my gosh. Rebound. Give me. I'm going to the line. And I'm going to score some points. Why am I singing the commentary in a song? This is why I get chirped. This is why you do. Brett, this is why no one likes you. Hands up, hands up. Good stuff. Beautiful. Grab the rebound. 50. Did I just say 50? 35 22. Only up by 13. And I know I say only is kind of a cocky thing. But, like, definitely still room to lose. There's always that little bit of room where I play good. What's been the key to get it going? I play it on days that end. I play good on days that end. Why? Good, good response. I like, I hate everything about my character, though. Like, do you guys feel the same where, like, everything DJ says just, like, makes you cringe? Like, I don't love him. Same with, like, B. There's not not a lot of characters here that are super likable. Fans analytics. You can expect these types of games for the rest of the season unless something changes with the calendar. I don't know. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now... Okay, yo. Yo, Kitch. And what, uh, what's kind of making me consist consistently so pumped up is the thought of seeing... Like, I saw the celebration for when we won game three. I can just imagine there's got to be something for when you win a series. Like, there has to be... It doesn't have to be crazy, but there has to be at least something. That was a nice little sequence I had. Super ball hoggish, um, but it is what it is. I'm playing defense anyways. There's Avery. That's my guy. He's going to hit a three because he hits them every single time. I guess that's not my dude, uh, but as I was saying, I'm really looking forward to, if we win this game, seeing kind of what happens. Is there going to be, like... Uh, is there going to be a cutscene? I don't think it's too much to ask for to think that there would be a cutscene after a team the 8th seed beats the 1 seed, but honestly, who knows? Yo, Jameer, run this through me, man. I got, I'm like literally a point guard right now with the amount of assists that I've been getting lately. Uh, I'm going straight down to Nikola. Good stuff. Cantor, that's a shooting foul on him. That's going to be a pass to assist. Should be able to run out of here with an A-plus teammate grade and a pretty solid performance, which never complain. Never complain about whatsoever. I like the fact that now there was a while, like there was a, seg a segment of my career where I was dropping like 33-plus with no assists. Like just like the worst player. Nobody likes me. My teammates didn't like me, but now they do. So it's good to see. Nikola, Nikola. Give me the ball. I'm taking the three right now. I'm dagger. Dagger in the game. Dagger. Let's go. Good night, Jim Kite. Good night, Jim Kite. Okay, one minute and third. And if you're a Thunder fan, I just want to say I'm sorry for the literal beatdown that I just did on your favorite team. I'm sorry for what Denver did. I'm sorry that I'm dropping 26 and 6 and 6. I just start getting the triple doubles. That would be sick if I could one day get a triple double in a five minute quarter game that'd be awesome i'd have to really focus on a like rebound and assist i'd have to just stop at 10 points but man i'm there oh that's on me isn't it yeah that's a shooting foul on me that's gonna kill the old teammate great but i'm just gonna play some music and let you guys watch the beautiful ending to this first series as we are about to move on
celebrating themselves a gutty performance. And they're going to move on to the conference semifinals. What a performance through the... Honestly, like that, look at that billboard. That is insane. Oh my, I actually really, really like that. I like that more than anyone that I've, I wasn't really expecting it, but that one is pretty sick. No animations after the game. I'm waiting to see. Uh, Damar, seeing you're the Mountain Dew Brother Killer, you deserved it. Thanks, Damar. I'm Mountain Dew Brother brought with my Hey, I'm glad NBA players seem to love me around here. The NBA players, Devin, A. Hey, good meeting. Oh, yo, when did I meet Devin? Let's hang next time in town. Let's do it. Cool. This is Book, by the way. I knew who it was. Love the new, see, everybody loves the Dew Billboard. I'm getting some rave. Do I have another text? Congrats on the Mountain Dew Billboard. Everyone here at 2K are big fans of you, DJ. Thanks, Rach. Yo, I actually, I'm going to put it on the screen right now, maybe. I actually met her, like, a couple days ago at an event. I might have the event. There's going to be a video about that coming up, but that's actually pretty cool. Um, because I met her about five or six days ago. She's really, really nice. Um, let's see who we're playing in the next round. The Clips. Well, Clippers. Clippers fans, Clippers people. I'm sorry. 